Hey, good morning, y'all. Um, I, I sound worse than I did yesterday. Um, but I am sorry. I'm very sorry. I just can't get over this uckiness. Um, but I did get done with the blanket. Let's see. Everybody has moved all my stuff, so I'm trying to get you guys up higher. Okay. So here is the white, and then I did the hot pink. And then I did the quartz pink. Um, I have a tape measure I got the other day when I went yarn shopping. So we're going to start at zero. Put it right down here at the end. I'm going to measure. So it comes to here. Right where my thumb and finger is. That is how wide the blanket is. It's about 17 and a half inches. Let's close this little. <coughs> and then I'm going to measure the zero to the white and that is A little over, give or take, since six inches. Yeah, six inches. And then the pink. The quartz pink is a lot smaller, and I have no idea why. Let me get you down here. It stops right there. Yeah, the zero is all the way to the end, and that's where the it stops. Okay, and then we'll get to the white. See, the white is a lot smaller. Do it this way so you can see. So a little over five inches. Um, I went to Park Avenue Yarn Yarns the other day. I'll bring those yarns out in a second. This is a yarn shop that is located in League City, Texas. Um, it's got a nice, nice yarn in it. A lot of nice yarn. Okay. Now let me bring this out so we can measure how long it is. Get it the right way first. So zero. This is how long it is. About 28 and a half inches. So that's a good, this is a good size. This is really nice and thick too. Um, I know my kids, um, at least two of my kids have sensory issues. Um, this is really good if you have a child with sensory issues because it's nice and heavy. Um, that's what happened to my children. They need something heavy on them so they can get used to different kind of weights and textures on them. Let me get my yard. Let me 
Let's see here. It comes in this pretty bag. Had them cake it up for me. So the first one is from this spun right round. It's 100% super merino. Super wash merino, I'm sorry. 250 yards. Hand wash, cool water, air dry flat. I got two of these skeins. And there's the color. Blue goo. In the ball eight. In the eight ball. Show you this. And show you this again. Here it is, folks. It, the camera doesn't do it justice. The camera's making it lighter. It's actually a little bit darker. And this is also oh soft really really soft okay there's one get the other one out this one oh this one. this one is called pinky swear this is hand dyed. Right there is the uh, website, and this is a. Uh, this is made in Ireland. It may bleed for the first couple washes. So that's what they are warning you about. Um, I bought this skein for $29. The other one I got for $30. And mind you, I bought two skeins of each. Because I wasn't, I want to make a scarf. But everything is with me is trial and error. So. This is Pinky Swear. It is not party. When I grew up, my mom, I shared a bedroom with my sister. And everything was pink. I could not stand pink growing up. I just couldn't. And now my hair is hot pink and I got some uh, dresses with pink in it and I'm like, hey, well, I just get this and see what it looks like because it's got <sighs> you got little speckles in here. You see that? Little speckles. And then you got some creams. Then you got some browns. You got some oranges over here. So it's just not all pink. You have some color in there. Um, 
like I said, this uh, yarn shop is called Park Avenue Yarns. They have knit in circles. Um, there's always someone in there that um, if you have any questions, you can ask. I think their website is www.parkavenueyarns.com. They do ship. Um, if you do buy yarn, I don't know if they offer to wind it for you or not. But if you are in Clear Lake or Webster, or League, or any of the cities surrounding League City, I would definitely go here. It's a cute little shop. They have one, three rooms full of yarn. From this stuff, to wool, to the stuff, like kind of like I made this blanket with. Um, they have bags of yarn. They have little kits. They have uh, shawls hanging up so you can see what you can do with the yarn. It is just really neat. It's a little mom and pop shop, so they could they so they can keep the prices low enough so they're not like any big business. So I hope and you guys like all this yarn because I love it. I cannot wait to use it. There's the pinky square again. And then the blue goo in the eight ball. So I don't know if I can put both of these here together. Well, uh, while I was getting my yarn, I got my box. Get that box out of the way. Okay, there we go. Let's put this right on up here. And that's where I got the two yarns and I got the tape measure. It was from Park Avenue Yarns. I think you get a story off the way there. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this show, and you can see my popcorn cat in the background. <laughs> She's just sitting up there on her little perch. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful second day of this week, because Sunday started the week. Um, I hope you knit and crochet and loom knit to your heart's content. from then till now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.